guys, it's me up on the roof. And I wanted to come up here to show you that this was installed in the middle of January over a year ago. And over a year ago. So there's your model. And the reason I'm showing you this video, you see chaos back there still running perfect. That's a thermodyne. Look below the video. I'm going to show you the links to where all this comes from. This thing is a powerhouse. Listen to it. Blades make a wicked look to them. Here, watch this here. And you can look at the up close condition of this. Look at the heavy bearings in that thing. Manufacture date on it. Rotor diameter 1.6 meters, so it's a little over, I think a little over five feet. At about 60 something inches, I don't know. But really does produce 100% of what it claims. Now, you're wondering why am I making this video? Am I up here cleaning all the solar panels? No. Too lazy for that. Rain's enough. Let's get down here. But you're going to look below the video and you'll see the links to all the parts and all the pieces. And I'm going to start doing diagrams on everything. How to build these. And if you want to buy that exact turbine frame and mount setup that I designed, I'm going to start making them. Just kits. You want to buy the motors, PMAs, and all that, that's up to you. All right, let's go down. So the folks in China decided the maker of this. Uh, Mr. John, that's really nice. And they contacted me. They said, holy cow, you people are loving these. And I'm, yeah, they're, yeah, yeah. They work better than any wind turbine I ever purchased. And guys, I'm on the record, I'll tell you, I've installed over 100. Over 100. Not just of these. I put in Bergies. Put in Air Xs. Lot of sunning. I've done sunning for about four years, sunning wind turbines for about four years. We're going to open up a newer model. All right, so ship two, and I got it in like five freaking days. To twin foes. We're going to get it, and we're going to get this off. FedEx just left out of here. And I'm going to show you the 2019 model that if you've ordered these you're getting them and you probably already know what i'm talking about but i have a problem with that one and you're gonna think that's not a problem but it makes too damn much power i've had to increase my diversion loads three times and we're going to be doing a video on diversion loads very soon guys that's coming now we're down to the nitty-gritty here Okay, and pull parts out of the box. I'm sorry, this will probably be a long video and I'm gonna get people going, you're a rambler. No, that's a rambler. That's a rambler right there. Um, no, man, if you want to buy some, who's gonna spend two, three hundred dollars and go, why didn't that guy say that the foam was white? You know, whatever. Um, I'm gonna explain everything. When I spend money, I get real pissy when somebody don't put in all the information, so I understand that. In this one's case, we have user's manual, familiar turbine. We have shaft key. We have five blade hub nice and when i said that the other one above was putting out way too much power it's because it's a three blade five blade will create a torque effect and actually wind wall that's that's when the blades are all going so fast so say you bought an old turbine from ebay and it's got like 10 or 12 blades it can only go so fast because as soon as all the blades basically become one they're a wall wind walling and the turbine doesn't do anything. 
And of course, if you buy one from the Midwest, it doesn't do anything anyhow. It doesn't matter if you put a 300 horse V8 on it. All right, so here comes more tools. Kind of nice. Look at that, reaches in. I didn't, see, I didn't get that in my last one. All heavy galvanized bolts and hardware. And looks like stainless steel nuts. Yep, stainless steel. Very good, I can see that by the sheen on it. And it comes with the brand new, now this is what's cool. This is what's cool. Brand new. Now I wanna show you here real quick. Let me pause, I'll grab this other one and I'll show you what comes with the competitor's models because I have one installed it for a poor guy so hold on and poof like magic boom there it is all right so that's a competitor model 600 watt yeah I smoke cigarettes come out of packs bigger than that all right so yeah I smoke I'm sure you know that all right now that's the new 2019 that is better. Wind generator braking voltage kicks on at 15, which means your inverters won't freak out. Stay tuned, long video. If you wanna get pissed, go watch cartoons. But I wanna show you something you're gonna learn. You could use this, but no. All right, we're not gonna use that. Emma, not a toy, it's junk. Um, especially one of these. So the diodes are tiny, tiny. They're not good for this. They're not good for these. These are powerhouses. So we have what comes with it. Now they're not hard to do. If you can't weld this on, let me give you this thing here. It is big enough that you can take it to a machine shop or a plumber. Go take it to a plumber. He will drill it and tap it for inch and a half pipe threads. You put a three feet an inch and a half pipe on it and it will slip because it's 1.90 OD pipe. It will slip into a piece of two inch pipe. Now, the reason I say two inch pipe, you want to use the rigid schedule 40 Home Depot, 10 foot sections. They sell them, I don't know, 40 bucks. You want to use that because this sucker is, makes a lot of power and you want stability. Um, you can use inch and a half pipe, but this ain't some junk crap out of Missouri. It's actually real turbine. So there's the blades and the blades come as five and they're not little guys. Look at the size of these blades and the styrofoam pellets, they're free. They don't charge you for the bits of styrofoam. So these run about 300 bucks now. Apparently I screwed up and got one for 220 something dollars and thought, eh, I'll give it a shot. Um, comes with a good nose cone with double clips on it. So that really does stay on there. And people go, so you don't need a nose cone. I don't know, you get snow packed in one side of this. It's like totally out of balance. You don't want that or dirt, whatever. You want the nose cone. This is designed to be cooling. Now I'm gonna tell you this, my hand is a large hand. You can tell by looking at what I'm covering complete rectifier and controller with one hand. Now, I want you to look at this PMA. This is huge. The motor PMA, permanent magnet alternator, actually goes back a good solid two and three quarters inches further back, which makes this about 25% larger in, in uh, wiring and mass than even the ones I have up there. Now you look at uh, chaos, she's barely turning. The little China wonder is just going. I hate the fact that America can't build these guys. But for the time being, this is what you've got. This is what they are. And this one was shipped out as a 2019 prototype. And the link below will lead you to these turbines. And you guys, man, install them right, install them high. Don't install them near the ground. Don't install them on a ladder. Don't install them in a tree. And if you've got trees nearby, you need to be about 150 feet away from tree mass. And these things will make a ton of power. Your power is gonna be stored in batteries. It's produced up to 75 volts. However, it's 75 volts um, for a 12 volt model up to 100 volts for a 24 volt model, but don't flip out. It actually is rectified like a transformer. You know, you plug in a wall and drops a volt. It's actually rectified. And then against the battery load, 
it produces the battery's charge necessity. That's it. Now, you get one with that controller, just, and they work good. You, all right, folks, there you go. The best wind turbine that I have ever installed um, for the price, for the price. Uh, I'll say that uh, there's other ones that are probably better, but for the price, very easy to do. And when they say 500 watts, you better be ready to get a thousand. That's what these will do. All right, guys. Thank you.